why are you afraid of falling off this pedestal? Why are you so afraid of people not thinking you're amazing and strong and big and talented and great? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? Answer me. And they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from man? They were afraid of the people, for they had all held that John really was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, mm, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. So the Pharisees essentially are challenging Jesus' authority. The Pharisees love their position. They love that they are higher than everyone else. They are smarter than everyone else. They are more holy than everyone else. And everyone esteems them as such. So they challenge Jesus and they're afraid to answer his question. Jesus is asking them, so did John baptize me or did God baptize me? If they say that Jesus is baptized from God, well, then that puts him in a more authoritative place. They weren't baptized from God. so. They're afraid to say that God did it because then that would lower their status. They're afraid to tell the truth. They're afraid to give God the glory. Their fear of man kicks in. And so they answer the question in kind of a roundabout way like, I don't know. And you know what they forfeit because of that? They forfeit Jesus openly and honestly sharing who he is with them. That's crazy. Imagine if Jesus comes to you and says, I'm going to tell you the truth about who I am, the answer to this question, reveal my authority to you. And you say, no, I don't want it. That's essentially what they did because they were afraid of people. People seeing them lose their authority and thinking Jesus was better than them. Are you afraid of falling off your pedestal? Are you so high in some people's eyes? Maybe you're popular at school or at work or at church. You're somebody who has a grand position on stage or whatever it may be, you're on some kind of pedestal and you're afraid to be honest about things because then people would know who you really are. People would know what you really believe or what you really think or what you really do. So instead of living in the light, you just kind of back off, you kind of please people, you're just like, I don't know, I'm just here. How does the fear of losing power affect the decisions you make? What should you be doing that you're not doing? Or what should you not be doing that you are doing because you're afraid of falling off your pedestal? Okay, so what would it look like to do the right thing? And to trust God in those decisions and literally wake up and say, I'm gonna do what I know I've been needing to do, even if it knocks me off my pedestal, even if it makes me lower in people's eyes, but I know that it's gonna honor the Lord. Why are you afraid of falling off this pedestal? Why are you so afraid of people not thinking you're amazing and strong and big and talented and great? Confess it, confess it to a friend and tell them the truth. I'm afraid of this because of X, Y, Z. Pray with me, help me through it. Sometimes the best way to overcome fear is to just shine that light in the darkness. And like scripture says, confess your sin one to another so that you can be healed.